Oh, howdy doody. Welcome back to the episode of Buy or Not. Why does that Ernesto, my manager, producer, gnome, is telling me this is not a buy or not, it's a complete or not. And I say, Ernesto, please suck my nuts. No sleep to let get back to this. Got the spy or not, making y'all the happiest, uh. Flow so smooth, make the young girls wobble when I get it to finesse. You know it's gotta be a problem, yeah. I'll make a beat, I spit a bar. It's from my own car, who knew I could go so hard You see my vids, got you calling me daddy A song in 20 minutes, man it's not too shabby Alright, um, what are we doing? Alright, so on today's episode it's gonna be Weekend League Edition And we're gonna play our first couple of games that I'll probably stream later on uh, But anyway, this is the team we're using and you can see that I have a new face, I have a couple new faces because I randomly just packed Tony Kroos. Uh, you, I didn't make a video about it, but I had it on Twitter, twitter.com slash longtransaction. I got him from rank four division rivals rewards in like division three or something. I barely played any games. Then I also got Samu and Titi from a gold upgrade pack and we have a pretty good team now. So who am I reviewing? That is the question everyone is asking. Oh wait, no, no one is asking that because it's in the title. It's Terrera, but it's not this card. It's this other one. And with the snap of my fingers, this card. Oh, by the way, Baron Leno, I I can use, I can buy him back. I'm using him just for this SBC, but I can I can buy it. With the snap of my fingers, we get a frozen Lucas Terrera card. This is how you make sure you get to walk out. Uruguay center mid, Farsenal, Lucas Terrera. He's cold. Someone get that man. What is he? That's it's kind of funny. If he dabs on me, I'm gonna quick sell him though. So let's have a quick look at this stats for Lucas Torreira. 85 acceleration is good. Look at the balance, 97. Agility, 87. Goes up plus five, so 92. Ball controls at 90. Short passing, 92. Shot power, 93. Stamina is good. Strength is a little bit low. Uh, tackling is good. Slide tackling, 78 plus five. Stand tackle up to 90. Marking up to 91. The only thing this card is really missing in my opinion, is the strength. 74 is not too great, he's also not too tall, but it's such a good card because it has, also I would prefer a weak foot at four star for the midfield, just so you can be confident with passing with the weak foot. But medium high work rates are good. I actually like short players because it means they can run around faster. Um, I know he's not gonna win any headers, but that's not really too concerning for me. So I think this card's gonna be incredible. He's next to his very tall brother, Bernard. They're both very tall gentlemen. Um, we got a very tall team. Tony Kroos, Isco. I'm not using this formation. I'm going to play Torreira as a center defense mid in a 4-3-3, 17th variation, whatever. The one with the two center mids and the CDM. We're going to play some weekend league. If you got my zipper is just completely down. We're going to play some weekend league. If you guys enjoy the video, drop a like, subscribe, comment, share to your friends. Uh, let me know how much Ernesto sucks, and uh, that'd be great. All right, is this a very good idea to start a weekend league off with a uh, team you've never used before? No, but am I going to do it? Uh, absolutely. How does he feel on the ball? The 97 agility and with the good ball control and dribbling, even as the four star skills, I'd expect him to feel pretty good. He feels pretty solid. How's his finesse? Okay, he's dead. Stembele finds Torreira, finds Disco Isco. Disco Isco for a finesse. Takes out his man, centers it, center it one more time. I don't know why I didn't score that. Terrera, all right, good job. That is exactly what I need from him. Just run around, just be annoying. Terrera, picks out a, no, okay. Rodrigo, Isco, weak foot, or, wow, how did we not score that? Del Piero, cannot get by Lucas Terrera on this card. The four star skills as well is just the icing on the cake. He's only like, 30-ish K, and that's considering if you don't have any players in your team. Uh, another one for Lucas Torreira to just gobble up. We're less than like two minutes into this game in real life, and he's already made so many highlights. Torreira, can you stop the counter? Oh, what a tackle on Del Piero. <laughs> any injured Del Piero. I love this card already. Another tackle for Torreira. He's just, they, have, they can't do anything. Terrera plays it down. Isco, one more. Good play. Bernard, oh my gosh, the Chez. Come on, we've dominated this game. How have we not scored yet? 
Uh oh, Sterling. Del Piero. Oh, Torreira. Another interception. I wish they could. I wish I could keep track of this because I usually go based off goals and assists. There are no interception stats to look at. And another one for Lucas Torreira. It's just so easy to get into a good position to intercept it with him because he's so quick. Uh oh. Del Piero. Stops. No. Tackle by Lucas Torreira. It falls right to him though. Oh, great. He's up 1-0, and he's done absolutely nothing this whole game. Very good. I tackle him, and it falls right to him. What is... That's never happened before in the history of FIFA. All right, halftime. We've pretty much dominated. Uh, Torreira's intercepted and tackled at least, like, 15 times. Why have we not scored? Because um, we have Tony Kroos in midfield, and he does not fit the meta whatsoever. He's actually... Tony Kroos is terrible in this game. Torreira's got to get back. Torreira, he does get back very quickly. Can we, can we counter? Come on. Do something quickly. Do something. We're just slow. Not enough pace in my team. Not enough pace in my team. Isco. One more. Rodrigo. Left foot. Deflected. Blocked. I need it. Oh, it falls to Isco. No, Rodrigo. You're not Isco. Go Lasso. Yay. We scored. Cool. Lucas Terra is really good. I like him a lot. He didn't do anything there, but I thought I'd just share that with you. I wish Tony Kroos were not bad. Tony Kroos is so good. How does he have such a terrible card? Uh, we're going to take him off and I'll put on Thomas Partey. Socrates. Oh my gosh, Socrates. What have you absolutely just done, sir? Here's Lucas Torreira. Torreira gets by Fabulous Fabinho. It's still Torreira on his right foot. Vanessa's. is... Oh my gosh, the Chez. Someone tell him to stop it. Uh-oh. Torreira. No, it's the battle of the short people. I don't know if my short man is going to win. No, my short man lost. He's had, oh, he's had no chances this game, and he's suddenly in the lead. Oh, my short guy lost to his short guy. Torreira. Inside. One more. One more down. Good play. No. Did I overplay? No, I overplayed. Oh, is he onside? I think I played him onside. No, my gish. Down 3-1. How did I lose this game? I thought I was in so much control. Full-time whistle. We lose 3-1. That's disappointing, but Torreira played so well. I just don't think that the team was too good around him. He actually got man of the match. All right. This guy has Batshuayi. This is a team I can beat. He's playing Tony Kroos. It's the battle of the very high-rated players who are not actually that good. Will my high-rated player who's not actually that good be better than his? He also has Rakitic, though. Oh, why? Why? Why did it do that? Oh, I didn't even press a button. And we've given away a penalty. Because EA. I just don't understand. I'm not I'm not press why does he do that? It's so clumsy. Rakitic, I call you Rack City sometimes, so please thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate that. Good job. Play it now for Rodrigo who's through. Go Rodrigo. Still with Rodrigo. Oh, Goldeen, Goldeen. All right, we switched tactics because possession doesn't work. No one moves. So I'm going to just fling balls forward because what says FIFA like fling balls forward to fast people? Spread it. Dembele. Rodrigo. Dembele. From distance. Dembele. How? How? I tripped my own player too. Very cool. Kanye, thanks. Oh my gosh, Lucas Torreira does not play games. Can we counterattack now? Dembele. Rodrigo. Dembele. It's Isco. It's Rodrigo. It's Rodrigo past one. It's Rodrigo for finesse. Golasso. We've done it, boys. We've reached absolute meta status. Another tackle by Lucas Torreira. I wish I, I forgot to look up how many tackles he had last game, but it was probably something ridiculous. All right, Dembele into Lucas Torreira. Pass to Tony Kroos. Oh, what a block. No. Win that. Lucas Torreira, you're so tall. Win it. Here's Bernard, who's past one. Still Bernard. Still Bernard to Torreira. He didn't pass when I told him to because he kn he knows his own rules. It's... Oh my gosh. Can you stop blocking everything, please? That'd be cool. Go Tony Kroos. Plays it to Isco. Isco's past one. Tony Kroos, left foot, has to finish it. We've done it, boys. Why was I playing on possession? Possession is so... Why wouldn't you play on that? It's like your computer doesn't make any runs for you. They just stand there. And Lucas Torreira takes that. Can we get one more? Can we get one more before the halftime? Play it wide to Dembele. I'm playing the meta. This is what happens when you play the meta. You're rewarded with meta good 
stuffs. That didn't even make sense, but it was a goal, so cool. Oh, I forgot the, I forgot how you play FIFA. I didn't play Weekend League last week. All you have to do is long balls, engine midfield, goals. Terrera, go on, counter-attack city. Counter-attack city, population, Spaniards, go. Rodrigo, don't get caught. Rodrigo, to Bernard. Bernard, oh, what a save. Rodrigo, oh, what a block. Play it through. Center, are we sweaty? Am I sweaty? Mommy, I'm sweaty. Bye, 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 bye. All right, so I know I only played two games and it was really like a game and a half, but I'm trying to do a lot of player reviews this time of year because um, there are a lot of players to review. So I don't want to end up spending too much time on one player. Editing and recording takes a long time. So I'm going to stop it there. Once I feel like I have a general sense of how good the player is, that's when I'm going to end it. This car, obviously, I could tell within like the first 10 minutes when he made 15 tackles and like 10 interceptions. He didn't get any goals, no, no assists, no yellow cards. Basically doesn't look like he played, but he was so good. I mean, the only bad thing about this card is that he doesn't have five star skills i don't even know like the the strength is not an issue because he's so fast he just runs around your player that's there's no there are no instances where strength really matters for a center mid like him because he's, he's basically just n'golo conte but 82 rated he's 25k to complete this is one of the best value cards i think there's ever been not only that, you can link him to very meta players like Meza Utzel, Nacho Monreal, and Alex Iwobi. So, I mean, it's obvious. No, but to be completely, in all seriousness, this is, you have to do this card. This card is 100% buy. You have to buy this card. You can't even buy it. You have to complete it, but whatever. Hope you guys like this video. Drop a like. Let me know who you want to see next. I'm not sure if I should do uh, Papu Gomez. They might be a little bit too expensive. Also, the other card, um, Zaha, Willy Zaha, I don't know if there's enough of an upgrade to justify that one, but let me know who you want to see. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. I'll see you guys next time. As always, Dev Hiesh Bepa.